Yo, 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 it's Always the Bear here, and we're back again with our, our Let's Play of Resident Evil Village. This is part 12. Just to recap all of what's had happening, we had obviously been to the house with the red chimney. Sadly, nobody is there. The Duke has then obviously provided us some more information, added it onto our map where the other lords are, who have the other parts of our baby rose and little flasks that we need to get. Uh, currently now, I am in the house where the dull demon lord is, and I have been wandering around getting things, but also at the same time, taking apart the doll that's supposed to look like my missus, as you can see. We've had to cut bandages off. We've got a medallion type thing out of our chest. we got our keys as well. We even got a film as well. We've had to do quite a little bit of things to do. We have seen something walking around as well. And the last thing I came to before I ended the last episode was that we can't really go any further other than passing this at this moment time because there's another door that needs a... baby-shaped medallion. I think that's a game mechanic that needs to be done manually, to be honest, to be able to turn your torch on instead of just automatically putting it on. Because there are some bits I'd rather have my torch on manually. Just for me. And this is what we've seen in the little video clip. From the film's wheels. There's the... It's rocking by itself. No freaking out here. Yeah, so totally not freaking out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's the well. I'm just going to check to see if I haven't missed anything just to make sure. Oop. Can't turn those lanterns on. Lanterns. Candles on. I'm shocked. I don't know if you get the light. Can yeah, go down the ladder. Yeah, that's better. Doesn't let me look down. I can certainly look up. I want to look where I'm going. Oh. Oh. The breaker key. Was that supposed to be our missus before? Doll? So oh god. I don't like the sound of that! The crib has been smashed to bits. Where's the baby? Where's the baby crying? Was? Not that. No, no, no. Relax, Rafi. Relax, relax. Yeah, bear is certainly not relaxing. No, 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 no. I want to be father instincts are going flailing crazy there. It's not going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. Everything's not going to be fine. 
safe. I'm tan. I'm being extremely cautious. Okay, that's locked. So the only way is to go through the exit. Uh, I don't have my gun. So I don't like this. Blood on the floor! Is that thing? Oh God! Oh God! Run can come any freaking harder. Breaker box, breaker box, breaker box, breaker box. Hurry up! What the hell is that thing? Kick it in the work without fuse! Fuck. Don't tell me that thing's in here. Just reminded me of alien isolation. 
I don't like not having a weapon to defend myself. Confused, but I Twisted little bitch. Just tiny creepy dolls are gonna deal with. Oh, a fucking huge ass weird baby that kind of reminded me of the creature from freaking 
Hellraiser. That's the thing is, I love Hellraiser, but that... over. Mia, we'll make things right. What? Good. I need to get out of this place. So that's who was behind all this? That makes two. Right. Oh. All right. Certainly down in that basement was definitely not... <laughs> Oh, don't I have my weapons back? <gasps> Yay! I have my weapons back! Uh, I hate you, game, for doing that. I'm just gonna sit on the floor here. Stare at the floor. <laughs> oh my god.
Got a lovely text message on Facebook there. Oh, joy. I'm just gonna check this out. Did we get anything? To go in it? I have two photos. Something written on the back? No. Oh, damn it. Something. Hmm. Hey, I'm actually gonna check my photo. And turn around. Take care of our little rose. Huh. I definitely must have missed something. I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> Nothing happens. Oh, I can't go back in? Ah, oh, please don't tell me that's it. screwed if I go. I can't. I can't, I can't go. That really will suck. Just reminds me of one of the ones where it's like, if you don't get it, you're too bad. I'm like, why do you know this, man? Not a lot of people notice everything right away at once, you know? <coughs> Not enough space. I have got way too much stuff. More stuff than I can handle. This cancel. Close the inventory. Definitely need to change this. Okay, let's uh shift. Hmm. Shift U. Shift U. Shift U. Shift U. Shift U. Space to rotate.
Okay. Got an awesome shotgun. I think it will do anything. I'm gonna say it might. Nah. I just went. Something's missing from it. You're part of the thing. Part of the person's thing. Wonder if I find the other labyrinth type thing. It will possibly give me that item, maybe? Maybe? Not sure. Yeah, you're locked in there now. Haha, <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> Search the outside. I don't have a pulley thing. Where can I get a pulley? I need to make a pulley thing. I need something. Photo of strange. What? Hold it. <laughs> Just sitting here kind of. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh, strange bird. It's salmon. Anything on the back? Nope. Okay, that's in the village. I think that fits the square and that's not the only blue. Weird. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ah, there's the other one. Right. Can I barricade? Nope. We're not barricading. Okay. No barricading. Explosive rounds. Oh hell fuck yeah. Daddy likes explosive rounds. Ah! That'll be that key for the one that needs to... The, 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 the guitar in the door. Okay. November the 10th, Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since childhood, she's always feared others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. November 27th, Mr. Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk to me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother. November 29th, Mr. Donner gave me a yellow flower and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know 
if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but I think she's so kind. I'm going to guess that you went there and you died. Okay, okay. So let's see what we're going to do. All right. I'm going to call up there for now. Let me just say point. And nature is calling me. So, if you like what you see, and you're enjoying it so far, like I am, even though it's sometimes I'm really crapping myself, hit the like and subscribe button for more videos on the Resident Evil Village, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.